In this video, we're going to look at uh, how to use integration by parts to evaluate integrals of this form where you've got a polynomial times one of these three forms dx which uh, in the previous uh, video in, in, in uh, part one we called it uh, type one uh, then we say the approach is to let u be the polynomial and uh, dv be the other term okay um, this is the formula that we derived for integration by parts so each of the integrals that we get we are going to want to write it in that form okay so we're going to start with a in a you've got x e to the minus x dx um, if you have watched our uh, in um, videos on u substitution you're going to remember that we tried uh, our hand uh, in integrating this by u substitution without any success all right so here uh, we have got e uh, x e to the minus x dx so what we want to do is to write this in the form u dv and according to this uh, suggestion we're going to choose the polynomial to be u this is the polynomial here um, so we're going to choose so this becomes our u so we're going to let u be equal to x then from here du dx is equal to 1 which means du is going to be equal to x okay in the following examples we're going to go straight from u to du uh, because du is simply the derivative of u times dx so that is our u then the uh, remaining uh, part of uh, this integral we are going to make to be dv so that becomes our dv so notice that uh, because this is a differential the left the right hand side also has got to be a differential that means we need that dx there if you write it without the dx then this is a uh, uh, meaningless uh, mathematically okay so um, on the right hand side of our formula we need u we also need v sorry we need u and du which we now have for this example here and then we need v so this is our equation involving v so from here we need dv now to help us understand what's going on here I'm going to take the dx to the left hand side so this thing is saying dv dx is e to the minus x so what it is saying is that the derivative of v is e to the minus x so that means v is just going to have to be the integral of this uh, and um, we have done a video on this and uh, we said uh, uh, the um, integral of e to the ax dx is 1 over a e to the ax plus c okay the c we are not going to um, consider so uh, this time so the integral of this or if we just go back to this other one here so if we come back to this and integrate on both sides so this side we've got uh, dv this side we have got that okay from what we said uh, in uh, the part one of this series again uh, integral of dv is just going to be v and then this one is just the integral of e 
to the minus x. So, and a here is negative 1 compared with that. So, we're going to divide by negative 1. So, that's going to be v there. Okay, if ever you are in doubt, then you should always try to differentiate this and confirm that it gives that. So, dv dx here, we're going to have to multiply by negative 1 and then we're going to have negative times negative, which is positive. So, that is our v. Okay, so we can now go back uh, to evaluate this integral. Let's call it i. So according to the uh, formula for integration by parts, it's going to be uv minus v du. This is v, and there is u. So the first term is simply going to be negative x e to the minus x. Then take away integral of v is here, so negative e to the negative x du is here, it's a dx. Okay, so this thing is going to be negative x e to the minus x. We've got two minuses here, so that's going to give us a plus e to the that. Okay, but uh, then this term we can integrate straight away now because it doesn't have an x next to it. In fact, we've already integrated it here. It gives negative e to the negative x. So that is going to be negative e to the negative x. And then we do plus c now that we have uh, reached the end. So we factorize that. And so we can write like that. Of course, you can uh, differentiate this to confirm that it is going to give us that. So what we're saying is that if you do d dx of negative x plus 1 e to the minus x using the product rule, in fact, we can do it uh, now quickly. So if we differentiate this, we get negative 1. Then if we can differentiate this, so negative 1 e to the that. Differentiate this, we multiply everything by negative 1. So it becomes positive 1. And then, um, so we've got negative e to the negative x plus x e to the negative x plus e to the negative x. This term cancels out. And then we've got uh, x e to the negative x as we expected. So that answer is definitely correct. All right, uh, in B, we've got x squared e to the x on 2 dx. So again, this time, the polynomial is x squared. So we're going to let u be equal to x squared du is going to be the derivative of this times dx. And then again, this is going to be our dv. So dv is going to be e to the x on 2 dx. If we integrate on both sides, um, then um, this side is just going to be v. This side, so if we write this in the form e to the a, x a is one half. We we'll divide by one half, so that's the same as multiplying by two. Again, this is such that when we differentiate this, we get that. So that is going to be our v. So this integral is going to be equal to uv minus integral of v du according to the integration by parts formula uh, there is u there is v so we're going to have 2x squared e 
to the x on 2 minus v is 2e to the x on 2 du is 2x dx okay so if we tidy this up uh, we're going to have minus 4 x e to the x on 2 now so what's happening here is uh, we started off with uh, a polynomial of degree uh, 2 times e to the x on 2 we apply integration by parts once we now have a polynomial of degree 1 times the same term so that looks like this progress so what we need to do now is we need to apply integration by parts on this term one more time uh, after which we expect to have a polynomial of degree zero here once we've got a polynomial of degree zero then we can integrate straight away uh, using this formula here all right so in applying integration by parts again we're not going to let u be x which means du is going to be dx this is now similar to what we did in part a dv is going to be e to the x on 2 dx v we have done this one just recently so dv is equal to that so v is that it's exactly the same uh, process so we can so our i is now going to be 2x squared e to the x on 2 minus 4 then here we're going to have uv minus integral of v du where the u's and v's are from this group of terms so this is going to be 2x squared e to the x on 2 minus 4 into uv it's going to be 2x e to the x on 2 which is going to be these two terms here minus integral of v du there is v there is du i'm going to have 2 e to the x on 2 dx and uh, as we predicted uh, we now have an integral of a polynomial of degree zero times e to the x on 2 so here i've got 2 e to the x on 2 minus 2 e to the x on 2 dx uh, this thing we can now integrate uh, this one we can now integrate using that formula we talked about so we're just going to divide by one half and then we are good um, so this is going to be 2x squared e to the x on 2 minus uh, 4 into 2x e to the x on 2 minus it's going to be 2 times 2 so it's going to be another 4 um, and then we're going to do plus c outside here when we remove brackets it's going to be 2 uh, x squared e to the x on 2 minus 8x e to the x on 2 plus 16 e to the x on 2 plus c if we factorize it's going to be 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 e to the x on 2 plus c okay so and again if you like you can differentiate this and uh, actually confirm that it simplifies to uh, x squared e to the x on 2 right thank you for watching the video please do not forget to press the subscribe button um, in the next video we are going to continue with part c and part d uh, if you've got any questions any comments please uh, you can post them in the comments section